Berwick, on the border of England and Scotland, home to Radio Borders bands. It's been a long, hard winter, and a lot of work has been done to the track. Free entry for spectators. last year so if I could remain about the same I'd be happy but if I could boost it by maybe half a point then I would build him in. The stadium is packed with people and the atmosphere is electric. more meetings on the home track then we have a good home adventures but now it's, it's for all new for all riders are new so see what's happening Many tons of earth from local disused mine workings have been spread on the third and fourth bend. This will form a bank which is hoped will give Radio Borders bandits a home advantage. Now that, now that Berwick's got the, uh, the bank truck, how do you think they'll actually do this season? Well, I, think, I think they'll make a big difference to get the home advantage. I mean, they're getting rid of a lot quicker now than they did before. Uh, once the lads get used to it, I think they'll take a hell of a beating. Uh, come to the speedway, we come to the speedway since it was originally at Sheffield Park here before it moved to Berwick and then come back again. So it's quite a while now. Well, I think that, uh, Sheffield Park's a lot better because it's easy and more accessible to the, the people of the town, the lo local community. It's up far easier to get here. I think it's a lot of improvement now, but I think it's a lot wider in the corners with, with more, more room for the drivers to go around the corners, you know? But to me, it's a lot bigger track, there's more room for the, for the riders to get around, and hopefully, it's near it, in the town, you get more people coming to watch Berwick Speedway. Much faster here, but uh, the track could do with being a little bit wider. But it's it's faster racing. Yeah. What do you think of the new banked track? Oh, great! Good, good for all teams. It makes it more exciting. There's plenty more lanes for them to pass. So. What do you think of the banked track? I like it. I like it. Yeah. 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 Y
like it. It's you good. like it, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A bit better when they've done that end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, much better. Three sugars. But yes, it looks, uh, it looks a good track. Mm -hmm. So what can you, how does it uh, compare to other tracks in the country? Similar to Exeter. Right. Would, uh, that's as near as you can get to Exeter. After riding on it a couple of weeks ago in the, the um, semi-final, I found it tremendous. Um, a lot of advantage. Just ride, ride the outside, um, keeping your wheel straight, no problem. Pick up a lot of speed, a lot of time. If you've got a new speedway track and you want to compact it, ready for racing, then you need a good, heavy fire engine. Oh, the line, found your line. It's easy to ride, so easier than another one. Yeah, it certainly is. It's going to take maybe a few weeks to bed down. We've had a lot of bad weather and problems, you know. So this is only the second meeting, but even now, it's proven that you can, you can ride a little bit wider. The sun's a bit of a problem at the moment to go out too wide, but it, once it settles down, it's going to be a, a, a damn sight better for passing anyway. To straighten the fence, the bucket of a mechanical digger is used. Bob Dunn, Steve Bebbington and youth team leader Ian Ray all make sure that the track fence can withstand another season's pounding. Always has been, always will be. Always has been and always will be. No, I'm not biased. I mean, it's... Well, well look at the crowds who get in here now. Look, at, look how many they were getting at Berrigan. I mean, it's no before. Time we brought it back to Berrigan. I can remember coming here on a Saturday afternoon, watch the football, then stay and then watch the speedway. Two and a half, three thousand people standing watching the speedway. I think so, aye, because more of the younger kids are coming in here now. You're getting a lot more youngsters now than what you was way back then.